the latest discovery in biological sciences as applied to animal industry is most used. Okay. Latest discovery daw. Okay. Latest discovery. At saka may key term that po, at that po tayo ha. Most used. Pinaka uh, pinag, pinagagamit po natin. Okay. Kadalasang ginagamit. So, sino po dito? Okay. Reproduction tissue and cloning are not mostly used po. The only most used po sa animal industry is artificial breeding. Please be careful with this ha. Kasi usually ang sinasagot natin is cloning of animals. Hindi po cloning of animals. Artificial breeding kasi most used po yung hinahanap. Okay, most used. 102. Schooli schooling, feeding, and milk rationing programs to school children are being implemented by the government. Ang project po nito is designed to... Okay, ito po is project po ng DepEd at this uh, reason po dito is to stop Ang yung objective dito is to stop malnutrition among school children. Kaya merong mga feeding programs po. Kaya merong mga feeding programs under the government. Implemented by the government. 103. What is the major problem involved in organ transplant? Okay. Major problem daw na nag-involve in an organ transplant. Siyempre, may reaction po yan sa antigen antibody. Kasi whenever there, there is a foreign object po na papunta sa ating body, yung body natin is magre-react doon sa foreign material. Okay, meron reaction doon. Leading to rejection. Kaya ginagamitan natin siya ng mga suppressants. Okay, para masuppress yung transplant, para magiging success, successful po. Kaya uh, yung kung mag, uh, maghanap ka ng compatible donor, may, medyo mahirap po. Very challenging talaga. Number 104. What gas is needed by the seed during germination? Okay. Ano po daw ang gas na need po during germination po sa seed? Ang gas po na need po is si oxygen. Okay? Si oxygen. Pag germination. Okay? Germination oxygen. 105. The eyes of the potato are actually, sila po ay isang or leaf scars po at saka buds. Okay? Leaf scars at saka buds. Hindi po nodes. Hindi stem at hindi internodes. Oh, may nodes na may internodes pa. So, wala talaga sa kanilang dalawa. So, ang sagot dito is leaf scars and buds. Next one. 106. Which of the following techniques will enable us to detect of the fetus as early as the 8 and 12 week pregnancy? So, ano po ang ginagamit natin, di ba? Kapag mag magpapacheck yung mga pregnant women, ang ginagamitan natin, if you are the doctor, yung magamit tayo ng ultrasound. Okay? Ultrasound. 107. Which of these pairs is mismatch? Sino po dito ang mismatch? Okay. Ovule, female gam gametophyte. Yes. Pollen gray, siya po yung male gametophyte. Si seed po, siya po yung immature sporophyte. At si pollen tube, hi hindi po siya yung spore. Okay? Si pollen tube is, yan po yung structure that develop, develops from a pollen grain, which contains the male gametophytes and grow towards the female gametophyte. So, ito po is pollen tube at saka si spores. 108. Which set of words completes the following sentence? In fermentation, pag fermentation po, si NADH is being oxidized. Okay? Pag fermentation, NADH oxidized. 109. This is the vascular tissue that conducts water, okay? And minerals. This is a vascular tissue that conducts food. What are these? Pag vascular tissue nagko-conduct ng water and minerals, si xylem. Pag food, phloem. Okay? Pag water mineral, xylem. Pag food, phloem. 110. There are six biological kingdoms for organisms. How many include only single cells? So among the six, Sino po sa kanila ang, or ilan sa kanila ang unicellular organisms? Dalawa lang po ang single-celled organisms. Sino po yon Yung mga monera at saka mga protista. Yung mga prokaryotic organisms. Sa monera at saka sa protesta po is yung mga eukaryotic organisms na hindi po plants, animals, or fungi. Nasa gitna-gitna po, po sila. 111. Monosaccharides are simple sugars with formula given by CH2O and okay 
which of the following is not made up of monosaccharide? Sino po dito ang hindi monosaccharide? Hindi po sugar. Walang iba, kundi si insulin. Okay? Insulin po ay hindi monosaccharide. Si sucrose, glucose, at ribose are both sugars. 112. Which parental pair could produce a colorblind female? Sino po ang parental pair na ito na nagproproduce ng colorblind female? Okay, from the options, ang sagot po natin is heterozygous normal vision si mother at saka colorblind si father. Si option A po, uh, it has colorblind father but si mother po, normal vision po siya. Therefore, hindi po siya carrier of the colorblindness gene. Kaya, hindi po siya nagproproduce ng colorblind female. Si letter B po, merong for normal father, pero yung option na ito, it cannot produce a colorblind female also. Option C, has normal father pa din, pero heterozygous po yung mother, which means she carries one normal and one colorblindness gene. In this case, si letter C, 50% of chance inheriting lang po yung colorblindness of gene from the mother, therefore, could be carrier of the trait, but she would not be colorblind herself. So, ang sagot po dito is, Letter D po. Si colorblind father at heterozygous mother. Meaning to say, nag-carry po siya ng uh, colorblindness gene. Next one, 113. The cells in the body that respond to the presence of antigens are white blood cells called lymphocytes. Which type of lymphocytes makes antibodies and gives off the antibodies into her bloodstreams? Okay. Itong question na ito, hinahanap natin is type of lymphocyte. Ha? Type po. Meron tayong dalawa. T-cells lang po or T-cells. Sino po dito ang nagmi-make ng antibodies? Si T ba or si B? Pag-baking of antibodies, type of cells niya is si B-cells po. Okay? B-cells. 114. In humans, pointed eyebrows are dominant over smooth, over smooth eyebrows. Maria's father has pointed eyebrows, but she and her mother have smooth. What is the genotype of the father? Ang genotype po ni father is si letter A po. Okay, genotype ni father is letter A. Heterozygous po siya. Heterozygous dominant. 115. Which of the following is true about virus? Which of the following is true about virus? Siyempre, yung virus is just a tiny infection particle. It can only replicate inside a host cell. Let's have number 116. Why is it difficult to dispose of high-level nuclear waste? Why is it difficult to dispose of high-level nuclear waste? Okay, from this question, uh, pwedeng dalawa yung sagot natin. Either A po or either B. So, which is the best answer here? Although, yung nuclear waste po natin, meron silang long lives, yung hinahanap po natin is way po to dispose. So, nahihirapan po tayo na madispose po siya. Kasi po, They emit radiation. Okay, they emit radiation. This makes it very difficult to dispose it safely. Because nag this ah nag emit po siya ng radiation. So in in doing this, pag nuclear waste disposal po, ina isolate po natin siya sa environment for an extended period of time. Because meron silang long half lives. Okay, pag disposal, they emit radiation. One seventeen. When does a temperature inversion occur? Kailan kailangan kailan po kaya nangyayari ang isang temperature inversion? Pag temperature inversion po ang nangyayari po is si cool air is trapped under warm air. Okay? Cool air is trapped under warm air. Pag warm air rises above cool air po, convection current po ang mag-generate po niyan. Pag temperature inversion, yung cool air po is basically na trap po under the warm air. 118. Which of the following is a cloned organism? Sino dito ay isang cloned organism? The only cloned organism here is si fern po. Yung fern grown in a cell culture from a single root cell. 119. Which of the following nutrients is incorrectly paired with its function in a plant? Diba? Napapansin natin, puro mga question is sa biological science is incorrectly paired. So sino po dito ang hindi correctly paired po. So, ang sagot natin is letter A, calcium. Okay? When we try to analyze po si options, si calcium po, hindi po siya ang reason why nagpo-form ang mga cell walls. Si calcium po is responsible lang po 
for holding together po sa cell walls of plants. Okay? Holding together lang po yung purpose niya po. 121. Fruit growers often or often propagate their plants by a sexual means uh, because the all results of springs will what? Okay. They are using a sexual reproduction because they can have improved variety than the parent. Yan po yung nangyayari. Okay? So, uh, we can create desirable traits from the parent plant para makukuha po sa offspring to have an improved variety. One, two, two. What kind of tissue lines in our skin and what is its important function? Okay. Anong kind po of tissue lines in our skin and ano po ang function po niya? Okay. Pag skin po, syempre, if it, if it cells. Pag if it cells, it protects us from ultraviolet radiation. Okay? Ultraviolet radiation. Next one. One hundred twenty-three. The cnidarians, like starfishes and hydra, possess an organ for protection. What is this organ, and how does it defend from cnidarians from their enemies? Okay. Pag cnidarian po ang nap ang ang organ po niya is for protection is tinatawang nating nematosis. Okay. Si nematosis po is nagkontain po siya ng mga poison for them to defend from enemies. Okay. Pag cnidarians po nematosis. One two four. Last two. Teacher believe that certain parts of the body get larger and more complex throughout generations. Dahil po, kasi because of evolution, ginagamit natin sila more extensively than others. Si Charles Darwin po, he believe that certain parts of the body get larger and more complex through generations because of three, because of the following: they are used more extensively, they contribute to greater reproduction, and they are bit predetermined to do so and are most similar to God's perfection. Okay? Letter C po ang sagot dito. Last number. Hemoglobin is found in the blood of humans and earthworms but not in the blood of grasshopper. Okay? So, hemoglobin daw natatapuan lang sa mga humans at earthworms pero hindi siya hindi siya matatagpuan sa mga grasshopper. Which of the following conclusion is best supported by this statement? Alright? So, among the following Only letter C is the best answer here. Human and earthworms transport more oxygen with their blood than the grasshoppers. Yung absence of hemoglobin sa blood sa grasshoppers, it suggests that they may use a different mechanism po to transport oxygen. Kasi sa mga grasshopper, they are using tracheal tubes, tracheal tubes to transport oxygen. Yan po yung trachea, yung pathway niya for Uh, respiration po. Alright? So that ends our uh, next set of biological sciences. So stay tuned for more drills po. Next time, or next set po, magpo-post po ako, uh, physics na naman at saka chemistry. So see you po sa next video.